What's up guys, SpinFireMs here, and we all know Glocks have some of the best aftermarket support as well as modifications that you can do to them. We also know that not all modifications you can do are practical, and this is going to be an example. It's cool, but not practical. Now, all fire firearms have been cleared, and we are in a safe, controlled environment. Now basically, what the mod I'm talking about is, is making it so your firearm will function after it's been submerged in water. For instance, if you were in some sort of struggle, it was dropped underneath the water, you had to reach for it, grab it. Yes, I said it's not practical, but if this happened, allowing you to get shots off still, even though it just was submerged in water, and that your striker channel has filled up with water. Now, all it is is going to be you changing out your cups to maritime cups. And that's what I do on all my carry glocks. Like I said, it's not most likely never going to be needed, but it's cool to have. This is the Ghost Ink version. They are very reliable and I've never had a single issue with them. Very easy thing to change, just once again, always be careful. All this stuff is under spring tension and um, these springs will go flying, especially while changing out your cups. Now this is my Glock 26 that I carry every single day. Like I said, I like to modify my carry Glocks. Right here, these are the Glock OEM Mariner cups. You see how they're ribbed like that? So basically it allows the water to flow through there so your striker can still get through and hit your primer. Like I said, it's not practical, but it's just cool, it's cheap, and just good to know if you ever were in a situation where your firearm did get submerged in water, that it'll still function. So that is the Maritime Cup modification for Glocks.